then we're moving directly to Yemen. Warring factions in Yemen are set for a truce ahead of talks in Switzerland, aimed, among other objectives, at forging a permanent ceasefire. Here's Elia Hochenberg with more. In a few hours, the war-torn country of Yemen will give another try for a seven-day ceasefire after two previous failed attempts just before UN brokered peace talks are due to begin in Switzerland. The truce announcement, however, was overshadowed by the killing of a senior Saudi commander and an Emirati officer during operations of the Gulf-led coalition. We did not come here seeking war, but seeking peace and to lift the injustice from our brothers and to stand in solidarity with them against those who have invaded their land. The fierce fighting between the Houthi rebels and pro-government forces continued on Monday in the southern Dalit province, with both sides testing each other's willingness to stick to the truce. The peace talks opening on Tuesday, away from the eye of the media, will focus on four main issues according to the UN envoy to Yemen, including the terms for a permanent ceasefire and the withdrawal of armed groups from areas they control. Participants will include Houthis, representatives of President Abd Rabu Mansour Hadi's internationally recognized government and officials from the General People's Congress Party, headed by former President Ali Abdullah Saleh. The nine months of brutal fighting revolves around two regional foes, Saudi Arabia and Iran, each backing opposing factions fighting on the ground. The Saudi-led coalition of Arab countries supported by the West launched a military campaign from late March to stop the Houthis from taking complete control of Yemen after they had seized the capital Sana'a. The Saudi campaign has succeeded in retaking the southern port of Aden and the northeastern city of Marib, but thus far has failed to oust the Houthis from the city of Taiz.